everyone and welcome back to So Aldo DIY. My name is Aldo and today I am going to show you how I drafted this sweetheart bodice patterns. So first of all, you will need your basic bodice blocks or slopers. And if you don't have one yet, I have a tutorial on how to draft your own using your own measurement. So the first thing I will do is trace out the bodice block. So I'm working on the front pattern first. So I'm pretty much going to transfer it on to a new sheet of paper. And here I am using a postal paper which is very affordable and durable because it is thick. By the way, this was a requested tutorial. One of my followers on TikTok and on Pinterest requested that I show you how to do this. So here it is. So I hope you will enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Shoulder, I am going to mark 6.5 centimeters or 2.5 inches and I'm just going to connect it to the dart. It's time to create the sweetheart detail so you can go as low as you want. So this was around 10 centimeters or 4 inches and then I'm just going to connect it just like this. Now it's time to cut out the pattern pieces. They should look like this as you can see it is looking really nice already and now I am just going to mark it so this one is the center fold so I am just going to mark it and this is the center front piece and you will need one piece and I also added uh, one half inch seam allowance except on the fold it's time to mark the side front you will need two pieces of this and you are going to add one half inch seam allowance all around and it's up to you how much seam allowance you want to add but I prefer one half inch so I also marked it as you can see I will do the same with the back bodice pattern so I trace out the sloper and I am going to pretty much repeat it the same steps that I showed you earlier. The back pattern is very easy because we are simply just going to alter the back neckline and it's super easy. I just use the front bodice as my guide to figure out the shoulders so they are perfectly matched. The second line I measured in 11 centimeters. And I'm just going to mark it and we are going to cut it out so that is super easy by the way it is very important to test your pattern pieces first so you can make the necessary adjustment because paper patterns are not always accurate there is some sort of adjustment to it now it's time to label the pattern piece so this is the back bodice obviously and you are going to need two pieces and on the back seam you will add 5 eighths of an inch that is for the zipper and the rest is one half inch seam allowances and these are all the pattern pieces as you can see it is super easy as long as you have the bodice slopers already it's super easy to adapt it to a different pattern if you would like to see the dress tutorial for this pattern pieces be sure to click the link below or at the end screen thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial bye